Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you some calculation about silicon crystal, and I will focus on the two properties, one is the crystal constant and one is the density. In the future, I will also cover the band structure, the density of state, and the band gap of silicon, but that is a little bit more advanced. I, uh, as usual, I already pasted the reference here, and uh, we will use Quantum Espresso to calculate and uh, compare with the reference. Okay. So I have two terminals here. Um, in the left terminal, I will. Uh, you, you see that we I already sourced the uh, environment variables for Intel compiler, and uh, in the in the folder, we uh, I already written the input file that we can check here now. Um, as we may know that uh, now we want to calculate the crystal constant. If you want to calculate the crystal constant, you need to relax the, um, the unit cell. And for, the, uh, for that, we need the calculation type as VC relax. It means that variational cell relaxation. So it relaxes the cell as well as the atoms. And uh, another thing that you may uh, notice uh, like in the last few uh, two projects, that uh, once you start a calculation, there will be a lot of files, a lot of a lot of files that you don't don't really need, um, that appears up in the in the current folder, and what we do this time, we can solve this problem, that uh, by by specifying uh, out there, it it means that um, you specify another directory where the temporary files are stored, so basically dot slash means a uh, current folder. And Quantum Espresso will uh, make a new folder called uh, called outdir in the current folder, and we will see later in the calculations. And those two are the normal settings for the relaxation calculation, and that's for the energy convergence threshold, and is the force convergence threshold. We set it to be a little bit uh, better than the um, than the default settings, so it's more accurate. And for the Bravais lattice, two means FCC lattice. Huh? And cell, cell dimension, um, if you see from here, the optimum, opti uh, let's say the reference cell, cell dimension or lattice uh, constant is around 10.2 bore. So in that case, we, we set it to be 14 and see whether it can converge to 10. Yeah? You can also set, set it to be 4 or 5. And see, okay, and then the this means that there are two atoms in the in one unit cell, and this means that there there is only one type of atom, which is only which is silicon atom in the unit cell, and this is the kinetic cutoff uh, energy, and uh, usually you can set it to be thirty. If you want to be more efficient, you can set it to be twenty. If you want to be more accurate, you, you can set it to be fifty or even seventy. So, so here it's kind of a mi middle value, and um, for and this is the convergence for the uh, self-consistency calculation for ele electrons, and uh, I also set set to be a, a little bit better value than the default value, so it is a little bit more precise. Uh, and the ions uh, name card is the, like specifies the. Um, the movement of the atoms. Remember, this this is only the movement of the atoms, not the unit cell. The movement of the unit cell is specified by this name card here, and uh, and the parameter that I want to uh, I want to specify here is called cell do free. It means that you you tell Quantum Espresso to relax which part or which um, which which parameter of the uh, unit cell. If you if you uh, ignore ignore that the default setting is that it, it can relax all the angles and all of the uh, um, all of the dimensions so th so that is not good we want to keep the shape the same so that's why I specify is I I brav it means that um, it uh, it basically uh, sets the Bravais lattice to be to be unchanged okay. And then the atomic species silicon and atomic mass of silicon, and this is the uh, name of the um, uh, sort of potential file from the SSSP library that uh, that you can find in this uh, directory. And uh, the atomic uh, atomic positions, you um, like this time we don't use Anstrom, we use Alat, um, Alat because this is more. Uh, 
the more convenient in this case in the case of crystal we know that for silicon crystal um, it is basically a two FCC lattice shifted by one fourth of the crystal uh, of the unit cell so that's exactly what we can write here the first silicon atom is zero 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 and the second uh, silicon atom is it's shifted by one fourth of the uh, FCC lattice and what I write here so basically the first first three uh, numbers are the actual positions of the uh, of the atom and then you can add uh, another three numbers and basically either zero or one to spe uh, to specify whether you allow that atom to move or not so this means that we uh, we don't allow um, any coordinate of the atom of this atom to move so it means that we only want to relax the um, uh, the unit cell, not the atoms itself. And the k points here, uh, notice that we we need we cannot use gamma point calculation. We cannot use just one k points, but we need to, to use a, uh, like more k points. The the reason is that uh, previously we calculated mainly molecules, and we don't uh, care about the periodic. Uh, periodic conditions on, on that uh, molecules so if you calculate something isolated uh, you, you can use gamma point calculation you only, you only need one 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 here but if you calculate some crystal yeah some periodic structure you need to use uh, more k points usually the, the more the better the more the more precise the result will be but the uh, the more uh, like the slower that um, uh, the code will run so here it's uh, because we are running a relaxation calculation it will it will do a self consistence calculation again and again and again uh, so so we cannot afford setting this k points to be let's say 10 10 10 cannot set, set it to be that large otherwise it will take too much time so we set it to be 4 4 4 if you want to uh, reduce the time you can also set it to be um, even lower but just to make sure that you check whether it converges um, to the to, to the real value or not okay so we save this file and then we can start uh, some calculation and uh, as usual mpi run minus mp and we use two cores here and uh, the um, in installation folder for quantum espresso and intel compiler version and pwx yeah and minus imp and uh, it is silicon in and we want to pass it to the output okay and you see that it's it's running and this time what uh, like as I, men I mentioned last time you, you can use another command uh, to to trace your calculation so basically you can use tail minus f you need to open a new new terminal otherwise you will interrupt the calculation here uh, tail minus f silicon relax uh, no this is uh, vc relax dot out yeah and then it will update the, um, uh, the file yeah the update the calculation automatically and, and you will see what's happening it's it's like uh, like those are the iterations for a uh, self-consistency calculation and then and this is another step and so basically um, the 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 process is that it, it moves the so basically it calculates the force on the atoms and then it moves the atoms uh, in one uh, in one step and then calculate the force again and then move the um, atom again and cal calculate the force again until the force is smaller than a threshold and the uh, change in the energy is uh, smaller than some threshold and, and it finds its final position okay so so now it's done another thing that i want to show you is uh, another command uh, that is widely used in linux and that is called uh, grab yeah so so basically this is something like a search uh, yeah something like a search uh, function in 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 linux so basically you uh, dot vc dot out so this is the, the p equal this is something that we, we want to search in the output file and uh, and we just uh, see okay so p basically means pressure and it is in the unit of uh, kilobar 
and this means that if the um, uh, crystal is is too large, it will have um, minus pressure, and if if it is uh, too squeezed, it will have positive pressure, and the, uh, this VC relax will reduce the pressure. Um, to uh, like below some threshold and then um, and then stops the calculation and you see that um, at the beginning it is not really converging but then it uh, it soon finds its its way down to the to the to the final value okay so yeah and then what we want to check what's in the in the folder and you see that there's a out deer here and if you list the things in the out deer um, that everything that we saw before uh, are moved into the uh, into the out deer, except um, the input and output file. So this will keep uh, keep everything organized and um, and make it more easy. Okay, and then we want to go into the uh, output file to find the crystal constant. We basically can uh, start from the uh, from the end, and uh, we go back, go through the last calculation, and find something like final, yeah, final coordinates, and uh, and here this is the density, yeah. So we can already put the density here into here. And uh, another thing is, um, so basically, this is the uh, this is the cell parameter. Um, it is written in the in a, in in a strange way. We can uh, first go to the beginning, because the beginning we know that this is a is a simple FCC lattice. So in a simple FCC lattice, it is written in this way. Yeah. So you see that for FCC lattice, it is minus uh, 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. If, if you rem remember from solid state physics, this is just uh, a prim primitive uh, lattice vector. And uh, so basically, we uh, what we need to do is to divide the um, uh, divide the final result by this 0 0.5. And multiplied by the the alert number. Okay, see here. So basically, what we want to do is to uh, zero point three seven one eight one eight one eight seven divided by zero point five, and multiplied by this alert this uh, fourteen. Yeah, and then we get uh, ten point four one, which we put here. And that's all, yeah. And uh, so, so the error is around uh, one point four percent, or or in this case is is even more. That is uh, four percent, but I guess this is because of some um, computation, um, like some definition error in quantum espresso. Because you basically, if you know the crystal constant, you can calculate the density directly. Yes. So um, you, you see that um, it converges from uh, from fourteen bore to uh, to ten bore. So um, and uh, with an error w within uh, two percent. So this is quite uh, good. Okay. So I hope that uh, in in this video you have already learned how to uh, calculate uh, uh, variational cell uh, relaxation. And I hope to see you next time.